Well, hello and welcome. Nice of you to be there. Here we are with a new episode of our Communist States of America with the Black Ice mod. And I'll just keep... I won't keep you waiting. We'll start the time and we'll do a quick look around the world. So, Germany. Defeated Belgium, defeated France, Vichy was erected. Italy is trying to do a decent job in Africa. Norway is being wrapped up by Germany, so... Europe is pretty much at war. And as the Soviet US, we are trying to... Uh, well, build up an army. And we are trying to slowly... Yeah, get better evolve and hopefully be able to uh, get into the war anytime soon. Not quite that far yet, but well, we're trying. So, we are building a whole new fleet. It's interesting though that these big, good, big battleships that they don't have in their own picture, apparently, but well, we'll have to see. Armor factory level 4, which is good. Ammunition factory level 5, so we get those bonuses when we build stuff, which is real good. So let's keep that up. Now, political power is still coming in slow, but it's going better. We have improved our heavy machine guns. Let's keep improving them. So Perhaps it is time for us to go and justify... Wow. We do have a focus, apparently. What's the difference? Well, there's really not much difference. But maybe we should prepare for a war and then just get in there and do something and expand our nation. I guess we have to do something anyway soon, so why not do it immediately? But given the fact that it might be that if we do that, the UK will hit us and we will be involved in all out war, we should start to prepare the front up north. So we are a bit defended against all these Canadian forces. I would think that Canada would put his troops up in Europe and help the British out, but apparently they're not quite ready for that yet. What we could do is set up some submarines. We should be setting them on convoy raiding. And we should set up destroyers here for convoy raiding as well. So when it comes to a real fight, we can do a real fight. Alright, so let's set it up here as well. So our fleets will roam around Mexico when we get into a war and at least destroy any reinforcements sent to Mexico or forces that come out of Mexico. They will just be immediately destroyed. Alright, so they're moving in position, that's good. Our big fleet isn't moving into position. Oh, we did our new fleet. That's not supposed to happen, that's a small fleet. Let's put it back. We should put this big fleet up. They can really pack a punch. That's our new battleship research. That's good for the future. So, it is 1940. Let's get the best one so we can do all of those naval invasions at the same time and plan even more. So we now have the Arsenal of Democracy, which gave us quite a few factories, etc. So, anything good we should get now? Probably should go with wartime industry. Well, I don't really need that though. Can't get that one anymore because we're not Democrats anymore. Let's go prepare for the war against Japan. So we have dockyards available. Now, what should we do with those? We are building quite a few destroyers and 
um, light cruisers. So we could start building a few of those new battleships. And start put them also in the new Atlantic fleet. Let's build two of those. That will be enough for a while. We need a bit more steel. And we have three military factories. Six of them, so we can really increase our production there. I want more trucks because I want to be able to get a completely motorized army. And I'm not really sure what else to do. I mean, we're not building tanks, I guess? No, can we? No, we don't have a proper tank, just a light tank. I don't want that light tank. We have anti-tank guns, though. Heavy anti-tank gun. Well, let's build a few anti-tank guns, then. That could do a nice job against the enemy. We need to import some more materials for that though. But fortunately we can. We have better infantry equipment now. So things are really coming together. Not as fast as I might have wanted to, but well, I could use those. So let's research this. That's done. That's done. So these are all ready to attack. So pretty soon we will just engage in a war. Let's train them up a little bit. Let's get into the decryption so we can see enemies' plans and what they're doing. those up when will this be done? Oh, it will take a while so we can do some training. Very good shipyard, yes. Oh wow, getting built quite a lot. So, oh yeah. Let's continue like that and then once we have three factories we can see what else to do. So, is Norway already about to capitulate? Nope. Probably have to move all the way up to Narvik, so that can take a while. They're not doing anything against the Netherlands, so... Germany is rather passive. Italy is getting destroyed here. So it's not that good. Argentina is in a war against England. And also against Brazil. Brazil is in a war with the UK. Interesting. So it could be that they will just fight each other and we will slowly fight our way down there and then join in as well. Could be interesting. I mean, if they fight each other, they probably weaken each other and it will be beneficial for us, so... Let's just hope they continue to do so. Be a nice thing to see. So what do we really need? We only have two small arms. Those are small arms, so seven. So let's do one more, then we have ten. That would be nice. Then we have three artillery ones. Still building artillery is four, so there will be seven, so we want three more. One, two, three. All right. Well, that way we can really set it up. Eight tank factories, two coming in, so that's good. That will be nice. How far is it? Well, they should stop training in like 10 or 20 days, so then their organization is up again when we need to attack. Light aircraft factory. We could do with a few more of those, like five or something. Five. Alright, so let's just keep it like that for now. We can edit our division. 
and we can add more mobile battalions. And let's do so, because we want a really strong division. What can we add extra? A recon company. Well, let's pause for a second. They already have armored cars, so that's good. They have a maintenance company, logistics, field hospital, and engineering. So we should add some motorized medium artillery. I believe. What's the difference with those? Let's see. Manpower. There's less manpower, so this probably... And it needs horses. This needs artillery truck. So let's add motorized artillery. It already has... No, it doesn't have any engineers. Oh, it does. It does have engineers. So that's good. So it probably has everything it needs. Well, maybe anti-tank. Guess it doesn't have anti-tank yet. But I don't have enough anti-tank guns yet, so let's keep it like that. Let's make it a real big division. Really pack a punch. Oh yeah, that's strong. Recovery rate went down a bit, weight went up, but that's okay. Supply use went up, I don't care. Combat width went up. That could be a problem, but we'll see. We have enough in storage. So that's good, we have enough of those in storage. So yeah, that all looks good, so let's save up. And that gives us a really powerful force. Let them stop training, that's better. England already guaranteeing? No, which is good. So, should put all of these ready to attack as soon as I declare war. That would be helpful. So we can see this fleet is slowly growing, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want to see. Alright. We are producing heavy packs now, so let's start producing quite a few and then we can add those to the divisions. Any other divisions we need to add it? Well, this seems good for now. They have motorized medium artillery, which is good. We could switch out the motorcycle ones for armored car ones. Let's do that. Save up. So now we're probably producing something. Improved heavy anti-tank guns. That's good. And we are putting in motorcycle equipment. And we don't need to use that anymore. So we can just get it out of there. That's perfect. Yeah, let's continue like that. It's all experimental because I, I don't really know this mod. I don't know what the effects are. Maybe I'm doing crazy stupid things. Well, just let me know. Just comment on it. I really have no idea. I'm just hoping I'm doing the right thing. So, if you have any help for me, just let me know. But for now, it feels like this is the right way to go. We need quite a few armored vehicles though. Oh yes, we have a shortage of that, so let's start producing more armored vehicles then. Didn't see that coming. Alright, so we did research something up here. Probably, yeah, yes, this one as well. Speed up that. It is 1941, so we can just speed up our production and stuff. Let's see. Retention. Efficiency capacity go up, yes. We will go here and do the naval bomber, but then we will just focus on industry because that will just help us build better and better and better planes. Or better and better stuff. Because we'll go much faster. Alright, we're getting close to war, people. 18 more days. Let's speed up. I don't care anymore. 
do we have an air force that we can use? Because then we have to set it up. Let's use 500 planes. Oh, I can't yet set them up in there. Oh, that's a pity. Well, then they should at least go there. And we should get 500 of our best planes in there. Do I have some decent close air support? I have a few, and I have a few bombers. So let's put them in. Put 50 of those in. And, well, once the war starts, we will put them over Mexico. It's just not possible right now. And we can modify our government. So what should we do? Scientists, or, well, we could add a tank production one. Armor research time, maximum speed and reliability. Extra armor, extra heart attack. Well, let's do the speed one. We want fast tanks to just roll around these countries that we are going to occupy. So let's try that. It is already 1941. We haven't attacked anyone yet, so... I do believe it's time to start really preparing a war. Let's do the war plan black. Let's check how long. Eight days. Yes, that's better. Now they get that experience bonus. We have better factories again. We have improved mortars. Let's focus on industry now. That's what I said I'd do. Extra factories. Factory output will go up. Let's research that one. So, everything appears to be ready, and we finished. Perfect, so, yeah. Let's go, I'd say. Let's declare war, and just conquer them. Let's just hope we won't get jumped by everyone else, but... Well, let's slow down a little bit, because I have to see how this war goes. I'm really curious. Let's put them on very aggressive. And they're moving in. Perfect. So, what happens if he just surrounds him? I mean, that would be a good one. It's always good to, to surround people. That will immediately destroy those divisions, so... And our knee. <laughs> Ooh. How many divisions does he have? Twelve. Between twelve and fifteen, so... He's probably pulling up a few to the front. And then those naval invasions will come in. So, let's put our planes up. Well, I guess we can't put them all up here. Then maybe they don't have the range or something. Not really sure. Probably they don't have the range yet, so... Alright. Well, then we might as well just delete them. Because they're of no use anyway. Maybe I can put those fighters over here. Yes, I can. Perfect. Alright. He's trying to surround him. He's already attacking him, so once he's surrounded, he should attack from the rear. He is somehow fighting my naval invasions, but he isn't sinking any ships, so that's good. I doubt he has many planes, but... <laughs> between 10 and 12. Or is this just attrition? That could also be the case. I'm not sure. So... Let's go there, pick two, and go there, then that's occupied. Then pick those two, and we'll go... Uh, they will go there, one will go there, two will go there, so let's occupy that country. Come on, it's a naval battle, wow. Two will go there, 
you will go there. One will go there. So. I guess we are doing kind of a good job. I mean, we're getting in and really getting somewhere, so. Let's get all of everything we need. Perfect. Ah, we are fighting here. Destroyed these convoys. Hopefully those were troops. Always like it when we destroy troops. So, we destroyed 18,000 men and we lost almost a thousand ourselves. So, that's looking good. He's still moving out. Perfect. Trying to reach Mexico City here. Which is nice. We should try and surround them. Apparently some ships are done. Or we've just captured dockyards. That's probably the case. Yeah, I bet we captured some dockyards or built some extra convoys. We're going to be needing a lot of convoys we want to get across the Atlantic, so... Why not start building a few? He's already in there almost, so that's good. Move out. move out, yes, move out, come on. Yugoslavia joined the Allies. <laughs> Let's speed it up a little because this war is going well, so why not keep moving ahead? Move on, make it in a complete front. Alright, that's looking good. He's already slowly surrendering, or getting closer to a surrender. It's probably the best way to say it. As soon as we get Mexico City, that will really be helpful. So let's spread these forces out. Let's get to Guadalajara. Alright, let's get those in there. Keep moving, guys. Doing great. Feels like these troops are moving slower than in the vanilla game. I'm... Well, of course, I'm not sure, because I don't really know this game very well, but... It's just a feeling. Feels like it's going slower. We've reached light equipment. Soft attack plus five. Always welcome. So, we need more planes. And we need quite a lot more of those armored cars. So, let's do that. We need quite a bit more boots and helmets. We need more. Oh, that's good. Let's put some extra in there. Let's put these up so we can compensate for losses. I guess that's wise, I'm not sure, but somehow it feels wise to do something like that. So we need quite a lot of steel. Can we build steel? Yes, we can. Well, let's build some steel factories then. Seven of them, that will do the trick. Great. No, we don't need Amelia Earhart. She should stay at home safely. Alright. We are moving on Guadalajara. Let's take one division, move there. We can take two more that go here, so he won't get into Guadalajara. Yes, that's the way we want to move. So keep moving, perfect. So I guess our naval invasion wasn't success. We need tactical bombers. We are losing tactical bombers. Well, that's okay. Don't really mind that. Not building any, not needing any, so who really cares?
Come on, let's get in. And it's done. And we took over Canada. Nice. Oh, it was an interesting war. So, let's get all my... Marines and put them back into place. Now... Should probably... Because this army is quite big, but yeah. Should probably put them just up there. To find another target. These guys can go with that. And so we get a real protection in our northern border. Alright, we've completed our first war, and dare I say it was a success. And it's bye bye with Mexico. Need a bit of rubber. And nobody got involved. We probably haven't disturbed anyone with this. Which is nice. Let's see. Efficiency retention, that can be real nice, but extra production speed is also nice. Let's go with the extra construction speed. So, what's happening around here? Yugoslavia is being wrapped up. That's good. That's probably something that really needs to happen. So, yeah. I don't understand why he didn't just take the Netherlands, and I don't understand why he's not finishing off Norway, because those are risks. If you keep those open, could be a big challenge. And it's already 1941, so... Well... I guess in black eyes things go a little bit slower. And it's I'm not criticizing it or something because it, it's it feels real good and real natural right now, so it's no critique or something, it's just a thing I noticed. Well it's interesting. Let's see, because infrastructure could be a thing. Probably need to upgrade my infrastructure a bit so it can support all those troops I'm putting on there. I could use that one. So let's go with that one so we can get the rubber. Interesting. So, ah, we have a better naval bomber. Perfect. Now let's get a good close air support. We can use a good close air support. This is our air experience. What can we do with this model? We can we increase reliability? And range, and the engine, and the attack. Well, everything goes in the plus, ex except for reliability. What happens if we do it like this? So, now reliability is up. Speed's up, agility, everything is up. And we can afford it, and probably we can't afford that, no. So, let's make a model like this. And, well, yeah. Guess I like that. And let's switch it out with that one. And that means we will be... Well, we can get those back, that's no problem. So we will be building better airplanes now. Or at least for our carriers, that's good. That's a nice thing to see. So! Well, game is paused anyway. Where are we at? Because this is the end of this episode. We've conquered Mexico, we've expanded a bit, and well... I'm kind of satisfied. I didn't think it would go that well, so whole new experience with this mod. We did some warfare. It was a success. So next time we'll just um, start invading the rest of uh, Middle America. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. 
and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.